Okay, welcome, uh, brother and sister in Christ. Thank you for joining us in this uh, Wednesday meeting. Uh, we're going to continue on the uh, teaching on the... Um, uh, tonight, we have a special topic, and I, I believe this topic is going to be very interesting. And uh, if you are uh, joining us throughout all the various topics, do let us know, uh, because at the end of the teaching, uh, we will be issuing the certificate of attendance or in recognition of your time span involved. So in the event, if you pursue uh, further studies in theology or theological college, do let us know. And uh, we hope that this teaching will be uh, useful for you to achieve some credit points. And uh, there are some colleges uh, we uh, are in affiliated with them. Uh, we do have that kind of connection. So if you are if you are uh, doing that, all right. And I, uh, some of uh, our our friends here, some of our brothers and sisters in Christ here, are already doing that, and uh, we encourage them, and and that's good, all right. So uh, let's uh, commit this time to our Lord Jesus, Father. We just want to thank you right now for tonight, Lord. Thank you for such a wonderful joy to be able to uh, come together as brother and sister in Christ as we um, commit this time to learn from the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide us, Lord. You will bless the lips of our mouths, even as we share the word of God, you, testimonies, Jesus. in yes. prayers. Lord, all this, we give glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. That, Lord, because of you, because of Jesus in our life, we have the Holy Spirit, and we have the gift of the Holy Spirit, and the power and authority that Jesus has given every one of us. So tonight, Lord, as we learn and study uh, something in depth, something that's, you know, from the Bible, we want to uh, go into deeper understanding. And from there, Lord, you open up our spiritual eyes and our spiritual ears so that we can see what God is doing and helping us in our lives. Yes. And also for others, Maybe they are not in this Zoom, or some of them, they are not even believers. But Father, we believe that, Lord, even as we share, let the Word of God, let the testimony, yes. let the teaching and the equipping touch them, strengthen yes. them, motivate them, and let them rise up above yes. every negative situation, above every obstacle, oh, yes, Lord. every power of darkness. Mm. So Father, tonight, Lord, we ask for your blessing upon everyone here tonight including their loved ones and their children. Yes. We pray in the name of Jesus that every household represented here is the habitation of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. No other spirit. Thank so we Jesus. command in the name of Jesus that every household, every room represented here in this Zoom will be filled with the presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. Let your anointing flow Jesus. Us in the name of Jesus. to every corner of the house, of the room, mm -hmm. apartment. Mm -hmm. Sanctify the whole place right now. Yes. Let holiness of God be established Jesus. in Jesus' name. And we pray, Lord, that you will draw the blind eye of Jesus Christ over every apartment right now, from the front to the back, left to the right, top to the bottom, around the whole boundary. So that, Lord, we are all shielded with the blood of Jesus. No weapon will come against us. Every power of darkness that is coming against us will be destroyed in mid-air in the name of Jesus Christ. Every persecution, every accusation will be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we know that your protection is upon every one of us and we want to give glory to you and we, want, we know that Lord, even as we come together in prayer and there will be unity, there will be agreement, the power more than sufficient to destroy stronghold coming against us or our family member, our loved one, our work, our career, our investment. So, Father, we thank you for your favor. In Jesus' most mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right, uh, brother and sister in Christ. Tonight, we are continuing uh, this teaching on the uh, study of angels. And the uh, topic tonight is something very simple. And as I was preparing the material, I realized that God continued to download a lot of information and was so interesting. So I hope that tonight as we uh, learn from this teaching, um, we, we, we open into a different dimension. In the 
book written by uh, the late um, Reverend Dr. Cho Yong Gi. He called his book The Fourth Dimension. Very interesting book. And I believe uh, tonight we are going to experience something in the fourth dimension. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Alright, so the topic for tonight, we are going to call this topic Angel Colors. And we want to find out from biblical understanding why is it important for us to know angel colors and know the meaning. You see, every one of us, brother and sister in Christ, we do receive vision, we have dreams, and sometimes we do encounter physical, angelic experiences. And more often than not, there will be a certain situation where you will experience the color very distinctly. You know the color. And um, if you attended the uh, teaching on the uh, study of uh, uh, pneumatology, you also understand that how to identify color. And tonight we want to look at the angel colors. Now, let's take a look at some of the Bible verses. In the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 2 to 4, the Bible says, There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within the bush. And Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. Now, the verse 4 is very interesting. Take a look at verse 4. He said, when the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, when the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I am. Now, what we learn from here is that whenever God wants to speak to you, there is a possibility, or in, in fact, one, one of the ways that God can create something to attract your attention. You see, brother and sister in Christ, every one of us, we are so busy. Busy from the morning to the evening. Many activities going on. But God wants our attention. So in this case, God deliberately had this bush fire, a flame of fire. But this fire is not burning type. It, it, you don't feel the heat. But you can feel the presence. And then when Moses caught the attention of this bush fire, God began to speak from within the bush. And you and I know that God has singled out Moses to bring the people out from slavery and bondage. The Bible says that God heard the prayers of all these uh, uh, people of God for many years. In fact, some say it's about 400 years. And God eventually identified Moses and created this bush fire to attract him and speak to him. And subsequently, the rest of the story, you know that the people were delivered and they were set free from bondages. So learning from this, brother and sister in Christ, in other words, you and I, God can also call you. Now, I want to share my own experience first. Once I was, we, we were, some of you, maybe you were with me, with me previously, and we were running a ministry, a fellowship ministry, uh, in one of the auditorium, a very nice auditorium. We can take about 300 people. And we have been there for like almost five years. And one day, they decided to demolish the auditorium because they want to reconstruct and build something else. So, so we were asked to go, go out and find another place. And I was thinking, is it the time to stop the meeting? Or maybe uh, God wants me to take a break. You know, sometimes from human perspective, we always thought, oh, if that thing is stopped, that means God wants you to rest. So I, but I, deep, deep in my heart, I felt that it's not so soon. You know? It could be a longer time. And then we prayed and ask God to give us clear direction. And suddenly when I was driving on the road, I saw a huge, beautiful rainbow. That day, there wasn't any raining. 
not like storm or cloudy, but it was a bright, sunny day. Now, brother and sister in Christ, bright, sunny day, normally rainbow doesn't occur. But on the bright, sunny day, I saw a beautiful, very huge, thick rainbow across the sky. And I said, is this an indication or is this what God is showing me, directing me? Just that the Bible says in verse 2, the angel of the Lord appeared to Moses in flames of fire. Now, I will go deeper into it. What is this flames of fire? So I saw this rainbow and I deliberately followed the rainbow. It's not because at the end of the rainbow, there's a pot of gold. It's not that. But I've deliberately followed because the rainbow is pointing towards a location. So in my heart, because we were praying for a location, a new location, so I believe that God was directing me and I was driving, I follow, I, I head on to the rainbow and finally I came to the place, I saw a building where the rainbow ended at the bottom. I said that this could be a place that God wants me to go and maybe use the place in whatever reason. So I parked the building and I went to the management office and I just asked the administrator. I said, I'm looking for a place. I give them the size roughly for fellowship use, for church use. And the administrator straight away told me, he said that it's very surprised. One of the floor was like formerly a church group. They have moved out and they left the whole place intact with stages, with all the you know facilities i can actually both in and use it as a church i said this is god arrangement it's so timely and i quickly went up to take a look i said yes this is the place pray over it and um, the, the the team the, uh, agree with it and we use the place and there we were there for almost like i think about eight years so brother and sister in christ i truly believe such that moses God show Moses the bush fire, but God show me the rainbow. Brother and sister in Christ, you and I probably you have the similar type of experience as well. In your life, God probably have already appealed to you, giving you signs. For example, in the case of Gideon, Gideon saw the signs as well, and God gave him direction in his strategy for the battle that he was fighting. So brother and sister in Christ, this is very interesting. So when I look at this, and I say that the angel appeared to him in flames of fire, then we begin to explore, and why, you know, there is this angel in the flames of fire. Now, if you look at Exodus 34 verse 29, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, with two tablets of the testament, so the Ten Commandments, right? He did not know that the skin of his face was shining with unique radiance. That means reddish, like, you know, full of brightness, because he had been speaking with God. So when we look at these Bible verses, it, it reminds us of what we learned last week, that the Bible says that they saw Stephen's face was like the face of an angel. I believe that Moses also encountered the angel, just like the angel that God positioned him in the burning bush. And there was radiant, straight, bright, full of strength, full of anointing. Sometimes we use the word anointing. Sometimes when you're in the meeting, you realize suddenly your whole face becomes red and you feel warm. That is the anointing the anointing of the power of the Holy Spirit. Now then, when we look at the flames of fire, what do you mean by flames of fire? In Hebrews chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. And again, when God brings His firstborn into the world, He says, let all God's angels worship Him. In speaking of the angel, He says, He makes His angel spirit and His servant flames of fire. So, that's the reason why when we begin to look at Stephen, looking at Moses, the reflection of the angels was upon them. So when we meet angels, the reflection of angels was up upon us because when we begin to radiate out, showing our face, there's a flame of fire. And the flame of fire 
comprises of this color red, yellow, orange, and blue. It's interesting, isn't it? The flames of fire contains this color red, yellow, orange, and blue. Now, when we talk about red, red can mean energy, power, blood of Jesus, victory, strength, you know, a, a lot of uh, good understanding. At Revelation chapter 6, verse 4, it said, There another horse came out, a fiery red one. So this flaming fires is referring to the fiery red one. In other words, the authority of God coming upon us. And the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 to 19, He said that, Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be like wool. So in other words, God is reminding us that when we are obedient, we shall eat the best of the land. And God wants us to know that when we have this uh, fiery, uh, or rather the flaming fire angels coming to us, is to help us, to guide us, so that we will not enter into sinful nature. And we can be out of that. Because the moment when you enter into sinful nature, the devil has the right to take, a, take the, the advantage to hold on to you. And we cannot get out of that bondage. So, brother and sister in Christ, we need to learn how to allow the angels when god sent the angels to help you when the prompting comes upon you when angels begin to appear before you you realize that there's something remember previously i shared that even in my office my colleague saw the angel of in my room and i didn't know there's angels in the room, but the, the person saw so god can use another person to even indicate to you and that was the time where i saw a breakthrough when i was taking a flight and the angels of god were there to help me through the whole station that i was going through in the plane now god can do the same for you as well mm -hmm. amen now early on i talked about this flame of fire it comprises of four colors so when you look at the physical aspect uh, when you look at the flame the flame also got four color the blue, yellow, orange, and red. And blue is the, the, the hottest, highest heat. And then finally, from yellow, orange, and then the red. You see, when you look at the flaming fires of the angel, and this angel actually carry this color. Now, why I want to share you, because tonight I'm talking about the angel colors. And there's a lot of meaning towards it. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 4 to 7, He said, He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostril, and the man became a living person. And that man is called Adam. And the word Adam has the root meaning of blood. So we know that now Jesus is in our life, we have the blood of Jesus Christ. That's the reason why every time we pray, we need to pray and declare the blood of Jesus Christ. Because the blood of Jesus Christ is also red in color. So when you look at the flaming fire, there is a close relationship of the red color, the yellow, the blue, and all this. What is it all about? Now let's go a little bit deeper. Jesus died on the cross through the blood of Jesus Christ to redeem us from sins. I believe that every one of us here, you will know Jesus, you have accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, and you receive the blessings of God upon your life. And that blessing comes with complete pardon of your sin, and the richness of God is upon you, the righteousness of God is upon you, the power of the Holy Spirit is upon you. Amen. Now let's take a look now Okay, I'll come back to you later on on the, the flaming angels. Let's take a look at healing angels. What color can you see from healing angels? I will look at blue, white, and green. Look at John chapter 5, verse 2 to 4. Now, we learned about this before. 
For an angel of the Lord went down into the pool at an appointed season and stirred up the water. The first one to go in after the water stir was healed of his disease. We are talking about healing angels. Now, many of us, we do not understand that when we begin to pray, God sent healing angels to help us. There are so many testimonies. I believe that every one of us here, we have your testimonies, how you go through certain situations, either for yourself or for someone. And through it all, the angels, the healing angels were there. Just like in this verse, the Bible says the angels came down and stirred the water. So when you look at the angels healing in the blue, referring to spiritual, divine revelation, heavenly visitation, blessing, goodwill, healing. So of course, there are different levels of blue. And then when you look at white, white referring to pure, Righteousness, the Bible says in Revelation 19.8, for the fine linen represents the good deeds of God's holy people. Daniel chapter 7 verse 9, his garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like pure wool. So in other words, we know that when there is healing, Jesus is involved. Jesus is involved in the healing when the healing angels come. Amen? And green talking about life, mortal, fresh, in, uh, in a renewal. So in Genesis 9.3, every moving thing that lives shall be put for you. I've given you all things, even as the green herbs. Even God will green, give us herbs. Last night we shared about, you know, uh, uh, gycolosis. So God has given us green herbs for us. And I believe a lot of you, you have different tough uh, herbs that you like. Now, brother and sister in Christ, these healing angels come with this color. And what about Angel Gabriel? Angel Gabriel announced the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 28, I believe that these angels is basically pure white white color because it's now the you see in relation to jesus we are always looking at righteousness just like what we see the verse early on talking about you know jesus like you know white and over here the bible says god sent the angel gabriel to inform mary that a child will be born and that is our Lord Jesus, the Son of God. And that is a good news. So, brother and sister in Christ, in other words, we too can experience good news through the same format. Angel Gabriel, healing angels, the flaming fire angels. There are different angels, but different angels comes with different color. Jesus is the light of the world you and i know and light is white color jesus is white but white color comprises of the rainbow color you see white light is a combination of all colors in the color spectrum it has all the colors of the rainbow combining primary colors of light like red blue green and then secondary colors like yellow cyan and magenta now brother and sister in christ if you are in this area uh, in my master's degree, uh, I have a particular uh, subject on colors, but those are more on the colors for, for lighting and things like that, for decoration and design. But like whatever it is, color is still important for us to understand. So when you look at Jesus, is the light of the color. So when Jesus come and help you, the light comes with the rainbow color. Rainbow also talk about the promise of God. Amen? Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 28 As the appearance of the rainbow in the crowds of a raining day So was the appearance of surrounding reindeers This was the appearance of the lightness of the glory and brilliance of the Lord Oh, when I saw it, I fell face downward And I heard a voice of one speaking So brother and sister in Christ When Jesus come into your life The light is white, bright But it comes with rainbow of color yes. so every time when you know when you are you look at the sky and you see rainbow color you'll be very excited right 
Sometimes you see a little bit also you feel excited. Some you see a whole some people they can see the whole circular rainbow. And rainbow can also appear in the mist, you know, could be just in front of you on the road, some reflection here and there. Now, so this rainbow referring to the light of Jesus. Jesus is the light of the world. Amen. David had a ruddy complexion. Now we come back. So understanding all the combination, now we go into a little bit more detail. Now let's take a look at David. David was having this battle fighting Goliath, the enemy stronghold. In 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 12, So J.C. sent word and brought him in. Now he had a ruddy complexion, bright red complexion. And then in 1 Samuel 17, 42, the Bible says that when the Philistine, Philistine looked around and saw David, he derided and disparaged him because he was a young man with a ruddy compassion. But brother and sister in Christ, you and I know that David at that point in time was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says he was backed by the power of God. So he fought the battle not by his own strength, but by the power of God. And the, the fiery, uh, flaming fire angels was with him. And the reflections of the angels was brightening his face. And when he go forward, one strike of the pebble destroyed the enemy stronghold. Amen. Even though the enemy is a much huge bigger, but when God is in the presence, enemy will have to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Now, when we look at this perspective, when you come into a time of prayer, you need to understand this because this is where we need to gain our position to know that when we begin to pray, God will send the angels. And there are times that God will send even Archangel Michael. And Archangel Michael is also another fiery red angels because it comes with the anointing, the strength, the power, and to fight and destroy enemy stronghold for you and I. Amen. The Bible in the book of Jude chapter 1, verse 8 to 9, says that Archangel Michael, when he was disputing the devil around about the body of Moses, there was this fiery red anointing. So we know that basically there are different colors as far as angels are concerned. The fiery flaming angels which is red, yellow, blue, a combination of it. And then we have the healing angels, the blue, the light, and, and uh, the white, and the, the green. And then we have the angels that Jesus giving the light, which is the rainbow color. But brother and sister in Christ, when we begin to look a bit deeper, let's take a look at the book of... Uh, Acts chapter 10 verse 22. What did the Bible say? It said that Cornelius, a centurion, an upright and God-fearing man, well spoken by all the Jewish people, was divinely instructed by a holy angel to send for you to come to his house and to hear what you have to say. God sent angels to Cornelius and Cornelius understand the requirement the instruction and he go forth to share with Peter so that Peter will begin to teach and to impart and they are all baptized in the Holy Spirit and baptized in fire. When we look at the seraphim angel, some people ask, what about the seraphim angel? How about a cherubim angels? The seraphim angels from, from my personal uh, analysis, the seraphim uh, angels also have the fire anointing. So in other words, the red, the blue, and also in the throne room, the gold, and the orange, and the royalty, the purple, and the super white. Now, when we look at the meaning in them, gold represents the glory and wisdom, the truth, the precious, the righteousness, of God. In Colossians chapter 2, verse 3, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom, gold, and knowledge. Second Chronicles chapter 16, 2, they brought silver and gold. So all this color referring to 
the glory of God, the presence of God. So the seraphim carries this color. Yellow is a gift. Psalm 68, 13. And, his, and her feathers with yellow gold. So there are a lot of Bible verses referring to the various color, the various aspects. So the, the seraphim angels also carry the royalty because of the presence of God. Because seraphim is surrounding the, the throne room yes. and the cherubim is, is on the mercy seat. The seraphim is surrounding the throne room and God can dispatch the seraphim angels to help us. Now, personally, I also have experienced the seraphim angels, which I will share with you later. And I believe that every one of us need to know when or what angels, which color God is sending, because it depends on your requirement. Yes. The Bible tells us in the book Isaiah 6, 6, 7, He said that, Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a burning coal in his hand, which he had taken from the altar, yes. fire from altar. Now, when we talk about seraphim is single, right? Seraphim is plural. So when we talk about seraphim, we are talking about the burning one, the flaming angels of God. But that fire comes from the throne room, comes from the altar of God. You know, tonight we're going to pray to ask God to send seraphim angels yes. to help you in your situation. You may be facing tremendous attack from the evil one. I heard of brother and sister in Christ facing a lot of issue. I prayed for others and I realized that, you know, sometimes we ask the question, is it true? But when I begin to pray for some uh, brothers, I realized that they are really facing this problem. I know of sister in Christ and he was telling me, he said, you know, pastor, every time uh, my, my, my toilet, uh, the door, I leave it open, it closed by itself. I leave it open, it closed by itself. Sometimes it closed, I cannot open. Mm -hmm. Now there's something in the spiritual. There is something in spiritual. We need to deal with this and we need to call, ask God to send the seraphim angels because the seraphim angels yes. come with this. And some people, they are going through dif different kind of problems, sickness. And they do not know how to see a breakthrough because there's so many power of darkness in the house, in the family that do not know. I share with you about this young girl. She was going through this problem. The body cannot absorb the nutrient from the food and she became so skinny so thin and i realized there was stronghold in the house and we we're going to pray i believe that god sent the angels and to help the family and deliver her out of this bondage and she was safe how about the holy Spirit? there's so many testimony i got no time to share the individual if you're interested, you can always read the book that I've written on all the testimonies. And I put it there, deliberately put there because I want to give glory to God. To tell people that we need to know that when we begin to pray, God is going to set you free from the issue that you're facing. Yes. It may be an issue of healing. It may be an issue of financial breakthrough. It could be a healing of relationship, restoration and reconciliation. Whatever it is, brother and sister in Christ, when you pray, you know that God will send His angels. Just like all the men and women of God in the Bible, when, when they pray, even last week we shared that when Jesus was praying in, in Gethsemane, in the Garden of Gethsemane, God sent the angel to strengthen Him. So if God can send the angel to strengthen Jesus, you think God cannot send the angel to strengthen you? Of course He can. Amen. Amen. Sometimes when you are going to, I remember when, we started the ministry in the early days. And I, I was very new to all these things. And I really do not know. And there was this young sister in Christ. She got a bit of family issue because I think got some trouble with the husband. And and some a few other sisters in Christ, wonderful sister in Christ, they brought her to the ministry. And she was crying. And she did not know what to do because the husband wanted to leave her and she was with three young children she was crying and crying and when we begin to pray god sent angels to strengthen her mm -hmm. to give her the comfort the assurance and this sister in christ from that very first day we saw the breakthrough in her life one after another become stronger 
she even become one of the uh, dancer for the for the ministry she even become an intercessor to pray for others but god did not leave her the angels continued to be able to see through one yes. issue after another yes. until even the children grown up finish their studies the tertiary education and into the work the angels that god has sent to you my brother and sister in christ they are not only coming here once like julian the angels sent to you will continue with you until you get married amen until you have children your grandchildren amen same for every one of us these angels you need to understand and know we are not saying that we worship the angel we are not worshiping angels but we need to know that when we pray god send angels to help us to guide us to protect us there are many times i personally thought an accident could have happened but the angels of god was there to help us oh talking about that just a couple of days ago the angels came to protect reverend ruth she was having she was having a hairdo and then something happened she felt a very strong electric shock going through her body it's not the holy spirit you know it's the hair dryer there was a leakage in the electricity and and her hair was wet and she was uh, putting on the uh, wet towel on the back and the, the electricity there was a leak in the electric we, we found it out later on the electricity leak and then it went through her body and she got a shock thank god the electricity did not go through the body now one thing i learned now is that i believe that angels of god was there to yes, shield definitely. to yes. block to block the electricity from going through now brother and sister in christ one thing i learned now, you know especially for the sister in christ uh, never place your wet towel on the back when you are drying your hair never do that and when we begin the exam i realized th this could be the cause because when when reverend ruth put the wet blanket on the towel on the back and when she dry her hair when uh, the person that actually is not herself the saloon uh, the uh, the hairdresser uh, is it hairdresser yes. uh, she she was you know uh, drying her hair and the because of the leak of the electricity from the wire and it it, it continued and went into the the, the 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 wet tower because it's wet it's water water is conduct is is a conductor of electricity and she felt the shock suddenly from her back but thank god nothing happened but, but she felt that me, yeah, yeah. She, angel really prompted me uh, angel really prompted her yeah. the angels were really by the side stand by you see okay, we we know that angels that's why the bible says in psalm 91 all of us we have angels right so the angel is actually all the while with you on the side you know sometimes when you cross the road you've forgotten you, you're so busy with the handphone a car coming an angel may just stop you bring you backwards it's it's like that it, it is how you know god help us amen so thank god there are there are a lot of time in fact last a uh, couple of weeks we also hear testimony from some of the i think brother Donnie was sharing about testimony how god send the angels to help i believe there are a lot of testimonies yes praise god amen praise amen. the lord now let's continue and go into detail before we later on we go into prayer right very important tonight now so this seraphine when they bring this uh, uh, coal uh, or rather the the fire from the altar mm -hmm. and and actually coal is a uh, mostly carbon and there this particular uh, com uh elements like uh, hydrogen sulfur oxygen nitrogen now Copper is used for improving wound healing, Alzheimer's disease, and treating arthritis and brittle uh, bones, osteoporosis. All right. So some of this we learned before. But there is a, a finding that some of this, because all this, when, when the seraphim angel begin to bring this coal, this coal comprises of this. But of course, we are talking about the spiritual and the physical perspective. Let's look at the physical perspective first. Now, from the physical perspective, this copper mixed with the sulfur, and you have copper sulfate, and it's also a, a good organic compound that can help uh, health benefit. So, the largest 
health benefit of copper sulfate is that it used to control bacteria and fungus growth. So when we begin to ask God to heal us, God can send the seraphim angels to bring forth healing elements from the altar, altar of God. Yes. From the altar of heaven. Now, so when we go a little bit deeper, when you look at this metal, copper, brass, bronze, they are part of the category of metal called red metals. Now again, we begin to understand that when these seraphim angels or the flaming angels coming, they have this reddish color. When you are talking about the red metals, we are not just talking about red color because when you begin to, to uh, burn this particular metal, it comes a different color. For example, when you uh, burn the copper, it will become blue flame. When you burn the lithium and the strontium, it becomes red flame. When you burn the uh, calcium, it will become orange flame. So every of these components or elements that you burn, it comes different color. And, and, and this, this color and also coincide with the color of the seraphim angels. When you bring the coal, when you bring the uh, you know the, the 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 metal the the different metal that come together because when you look at the color the color reflect back to the type of metal now why am i saying this because when you look at the metal itself it has health benefit for example copper helps to enhance immune system and energy production copper is an essential trace mineral necessary for survival it is found in all body tissue and plays a role in making red blood cells and maintaining nerve cells and immune system. It also helps the body form religion and absorb iron and plays a role in energy production, which we need. And also, the seraphim carry the blue flame which constitute copper and is good for our immune system, especially when people have copper deficiency. The seraphim can bring healing to their physical body. <laughs> seraphim and Holy Spirit together can also destroy demonic forces that are attacking our immune system. Yes. So when we begin to pray, now we understand that, oh, when the seraphim angel come, and the Bible says the seraphim angel will bring the fire from the altar and the coal, actually all these healing elements comes together Amen. when you begin to understand deeper how the whole thing works the red fiery angels give off a yellow orange and red color which we mentioned earlier on so in other words there will be time that we do not know we don't even know how the healing takes place but god knows exactly the problem that you are facing and when these the angels come they will bring forth the same different type of element that is required for our body, whether it's for your nerve, for your uh, central uh, nerve system, and maybe due to headache, muscle, cramp, nausea, whatever it is. And, and all this come together, you realize that uh, there is this element that can come forth and bring forth healing upon your liver, your pancreas, your intestine, kidneys, as well as for fruits and cold prevention. Now, it, it doesn't matter how it comes, but all we need is the healing. Amen. When that person is set free from sickness and disease, praise the Lord. But what I'm sharing with you is that when we pray, God can send the angels and these angels can bring forth. And also, lithium is uh, important because lithium deficiency are linked to mental health problems. Low lithium levels are seen in children with autism and person with bipolar disorder yes. so all this as we begin to pray for people we realize that it is not just god sending the angels but the angels are also bringing the healing properties the elements to our body every one of us brother and sister in christ we need good elements components and all these you know things in our body that can bring strong uh, to make us strong to give us energy and and so that our cells are able to perform well the bible tell us in genesis 3 24 
So God drove the man out and the east of the garden of Eden, he permanently stationed the cherubim and the sword with the flashing blade which turned round and round. Why? To protect and guard the way the entrance access to the tree of life. Brother and sister in Christ, every one of us, we have the tree of life that God has given us. And the tree of life, the angels, the cherubim angels are sent to protect and guard the tree of life permanently for every one of us. If the angels are not sent to guard the tree of life, the devil will come and rob, steal and destroy. The devil can come and take away the good things that God has given us and begin to damage by bringing damage us by bringing the things that is no good hatred anger jealousy selfishness now all these things begin to come in and can affect us so the angels the cherubim angels that god has sent is to stand on guard to protect us so that the tree of life in us is protected amen praise the lord thank you jesus In the book of Numbers, chapter 7, verse 89, when Moses went into the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him from above the mercy seat, the gold cover that was on the Ark of Testimony from between the two cherubim. Brother and sister in Christ, when we begin to look at the angels that God has sent to us, and we realize that truly enough, we can also experience we had a three days of prophetic worship night the angel appeared bright blue bright light we believe that this is the angels that god has sent to minister to the people people were praying for healing for for deliverance to be set free from demonic bondages so god can send the angels there are a couple of times we we saw the angels all right but those days that we don't see doesn't mean there are no angels the angels are there but we believe because the bible says that all of us we have angels with us so can you imagine if the congregation coming together be more angels and god can send send archangel michael gabriel seraphim cherubims healing angels coming so brother and sister in christ something that we learn tonight that when we begin to understand more about how God works in our life, God can send the angels respectively in our area. Now tonight, as we enter into the time of prayer, there are a few things that we need to pray and I see some of the prayer requests. We're going to pray for God to send the angels into a situation that we are facing right now. We're going to pray to ask God to help us. Just a show of hands, all right? I just want to have a... Don't, don't feel embarrassed about it. How, how often or how many of you ever felt like when you are praying, or rather you are sleeping, sorry, when you are sleeping at night, you, you felt suddenly there was like some demonic power holding on to you and you were screaming and you, you could not move and you tried to call out the name of jesus or maybe some of you you don't even know they can call how many of you experienced that before like when sleeping something like pressing on you you cannot move and you're struggling okay one sister yes who else it's okay all right good good now uh, let me tell you don't don't take for granted these things happen is real because i personally experience as well when before i know jesus before i know about the holy spirit and calling the name of jesus christ i i suffer quite a fair bit on this type of attack spiritual attack in the in the middle of night you sleep and you don't know what to do something press on you want to shout you cannot shout you want to move you cannot move you know then later on and i realized that actually i can call on the name of jesus christ that thing never come again amen once i was overseas and using one of the room of a you know somebody's the bedroom a guest room rather now i felt uncomfortable because that place is like a lot of darkness you, you feel it 
All right, if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you can actually sense the the ambient. You can sense. That's why this this the reason why sometimes people say that you know when you uh, go into a place, you are either a hotel room or you go into a house. You want to you want to purchase a house. You walk in, you don't feel comfortable. It's not that you don't feel comfortable because the spiritual things is not right. Once we were looking for a church. For uh, one of my uh, other pastors, senior pastor, they are looking for a church, so they invited me to go with them. So we went to this place, and he entered the first few steps. Uh, he fell flat, you know. The senior pastor he fell flat on the floor. Oh, I say that this is power of darkness. Of course, thank God the angels protected. Nothing happened, but I fell flat. Just walk in and fell flat. And there are many cases when we brought intercessor to a place to, to pray for people. Before we enter, one of the sisters in Christ being thrown backwards. Physically, I saw it in my own eyes. And sometime before we enter the hospital to pray for somebody, one of the sisters in Christ started vomiting and, you know, getting giddy. And, and all these are spiritual attack. And it's real. And that is the reason why, brother and sister in Christ, do not take for granted. God has prepared all the respective angels to come and help us and we need to pray because when you pray god will dispatch the angels to fight that battle for you amen the wonder the bible says no no the battle belongs stand still and watch the deliverance of god the battle belongs to god you think moses and the people they fought the enemy no they didn't moses just raised his staff as a declaration of the presence of god and do you know why Moses raised the staff? Because that staff, God has performed a miracle. And that staff was chosen out of the uh, many staff that placed before the, the people. They say that that staff that comes with the, the, the almond blossom, that grow with the almond blossom, will be the staff. And Moses took the staff. That staff came with the almond blossom. If you read in the Bible, that staff suddenly, the almond blossom grow. How can a stick without any wood, I mean, without any ground, no soil, and the plant start to grow because of God? So when Moses was carrying the staff, that represents the power of God. The Bible tells us in the, in, in the book of uh, Zechariah, in the book of Exodus, we talk about the golden land stem. What are, in the, what is, what are on the golden stem? The, the almond blossom. The almond blossom on the golden land stem. And when Moses raised this staff, the Red Sea opened. The presence of God came. The angels of God. Do you know the Bible tells us that the angel of God came and the pillar of fire, the pillar of cloud. And when they reached the Red Sea, I believe that God has sent forth the angels to help to open up the Red Sea and also to prevent the enemy. See, the, the, the pillar of fire blocked the enemy from advancing. And the enemy cannot move forward. You see, when there's a spiritual warfare, coming on god's strategy is very powerful when you look at the bible we have studied all this uh, uh, earlier on in some of the uh, uh, you know we are going to more detail later on in in the next few lessons when god established the strategy to fight the battle for you brother and sister in christ it's a very amazing and god has already positioned everything in your favor just like the man and woman of god just like joshua just like uh, gideon just like uh, uh, you know uh, abraham moses god has sent the angels to prepare the ground and even direct them to look, look at moses how can he find a way those day uh, they don't have compass you know they don't have mat they, they don't even know where are they going but god sent the pillar of fire by night and the pillar of cloud by day to lead them to this place huge enough big enough to take the three thousand uh, or uh, three million people is it three million people that came and go together with them and that place if you go to israel today you go to jerusalem today you will see the place true enough is large enough before they cross the red sea god has already planned all these things and the angels are there to help the people so brother and sister in christ tonight you have a certain prayer but before that i just want you to uh, be open tonight because it is very important that not just me sharing but i want to hear from some of you maybe in all some of you that you truly have the spirit and you when you begin to recall you realize that actually the angels was there helping you and seeing you through anyone uh can, can just open your 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 mic and uh, share any any uh, lucy here okay lucy come 
Yeah. Um, you're talking about the one that uh, when you sleep, something press on you. Uh, this is what I experienced. Uh, it was one of the day, I mean, quite some time ago, I was lying on the bed. All of a sudden, I felt something on me, very heavy, and I was trying to get up. I couldn't get up. Inside of me, I was screaming for my husband because my husband was in the hall. He, actually, my room door is facing the hall. He can see me. So I was screaming out of my voice. I said, can I help me? Can I help me? But he didn't answer me or respond, you know. So I don't know what to do. But inside my heart, and then I realized I need to cry to Jesus. So I call on Jesus. I said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The next minute, the thing just left me, you know. So after the thing left, I went to my husband. I said, hey, why you didn't hear my voice? Why didn't you come and help me? He said, where you got call me? Don't have lah. I see you lying the, on your bed. You're resting, so I don't want to disturb you. Where you go call me? He said, I'm so near you. Uh, how can I, I, I can't hear? Then I realized it's actually a spiritual attack. But thank yeah. God lah. Like, that day I can cry out to Jesus. But I think well, more important is uh, Sister Lucy because uh, based on our experience, uh, I think it's also important that you need to identify where are the areas in your house that you have opened up a gate of darkness. Sometimes we do not know if there is any of these things that's opened up a gate of darkness. You need to take authority to remove that item, remove the object, that painting, that material that somebody brought in, that open a foothold. I, let me share with you this brother in Christ. He's a very wonderful man and he ministered to, uh, to the prison ministry. He, he visited the prison ministry. And every time when he goes, uh, he will collect items given by people. But not knowing, because he was not like uh, having this knowledge about all these things. So he collected a lot of these things people gave him and collect. And he brought all these things home, you know. And then when we were ministering, because he was having uh, cancer, and we were ministering to him, and he realized that he collected so many items, and then he doesn't even know where this material come from. So this item was given by people, and he was like bringing in, and the gate of darkness was established by power of darkness, and then he suffered some of this issue. This is not the only one. There's so many people that we pray for, we realize that they have unconsciously brought in item that open a gate of darkness for the devil to enter so i always advise truly even for myself when i begin to understand that i deliberately remove anything that is abomination to god witchcraft work sorcery books things that has been you know there was a, a guy he was one of my business associates in china and he <clears throat> he bought a building and why he bought this building is because this building contains a lot of uh, antique material right in the basement. People have thrown throughout the years all the things like no use. <clears throat> but he, he loved it. He, he liked to collect all this stuff, old stuff. So he bought the building and then he deliberately wanted to... So one day he was going there to look for all these items. He walked into the basement, you know, and this was shared by him. He's not Christian, all right? He's not Christian. He was shocked by him. And then, because I was trying to minister to him. So he went there, he collected, he saw a very nice uh, uh, antique lamp. It's like uh, with a body made of jade and then with the uh, cover, like some gold trimming. So he liked it, very small little one. So he brought and he put in his office, put on the table. And, and then he took a piece of uh, cloth and start to clean. The moment when he cleaned the thing, his whole body was stuck to the material and his, like, he felt the energy being drawn out of him. Like his life is like getting out, he's totally weakening, weakening, and he, he just do not know what to do. He cannot ever move. And this was the what he shared with me. And I said that, oh, that is really power of darkness. So when he was holding to this, this uh, lamp and, and his energy was drawn out and suddenly he just got unconscious, you know. But thank God, the driver, his driver, came in at that point of time in this room, saw him. And his driver, he was like, he knew what to do, you know. He took a, a broomstick and he hit the, the lamp and pushed it away. And the lamp just flew off. I mean, dropped on the ground. And then he suddenly, he woke up and said, oh, wow, what happened, you know. And I begin to, sh I took the opportunity to share with about the gate of darkness. If you know, uh, my teaching on the spiritual gate of darkness and you know all these things you, you can go through uh, our, our our link 
and you can understand it's so important for us to know so so when i talk about when you are being pressed on by all these type of thing when you are sleeping examine your house is that something that be brought in recently by anybody it could be your spouse it could be your children you do not know or even sometimes your helper bring you something but when you are sensitive to the spiritual things you can feel it because when you are just like when we are doing house cleansing for people we walk in the house we, we can identify once i was praying for a sister in christ and she was having uh, this tumor in the head you know and went for operation i went to a house but the house was clean nothing i probably had already done a lot of uh, house cleansing but i saw the power of darkness coming out of the storeroom and i told them i said there is power of darkness because i can sense it the holy spirit has guided me i can sense it but they cannot remove because there are too many things in the storeroom and finally after when we left they took out everything they, they, they were very determined they took out everything and they found something which is abomination they found a sort of like a, a vase or, or not a vase it's more like an urn where containing the ash of the ancestor and i'm not sure why they say they've been passed down from one family to another uh, one generation to another generation, and they will be like the next one holding on do you know that all these things uh, there are spiritual issue whether it's there's a spirit there we do not know but we have to pray in the name of jesus to break that spirit the power of darkness that's causing problem to us amen all right next one uh, anyone else want to share before we enter the time of prayer okay we have a few prayer requests anybody uh, we'll share we'll share sister jennifer come yeah i i i'm, I'm jennifer yeah i had uh also a struggle when one day i was sleeping in my daughter's room and i felt um my two arms were just being on my chest and i just can't remove it mm. you know and i called upon the name of jesus and finally i got it being released so subsequently i uh, searched her room i saw um this thing that she bought online actually is um from a movie and it is like uh something which uh uh, uh collector's item mm. so i i show her i said no this is very ugly i i you must remove it she said no this is very precious very hard to buy no so what I did is um, I, I, I wrap it up. I didn't throw, but I put it outside my house until the day where she got married. <laughs> I told her husband and her, I said that this is something very evil. You must remove it. The husband said, yes, yeah, yes, throw away, throw away. <laughs> the Lord, it was destroyed. Well, you see, the, the sister uh, Jennifer, I believe that the yes. angels yes. of God has always been by your side to help yes. you. And even though you may be under attack, but the angels are there to help because when we call upon the name of Jesus, right? So the angels be activated. Now this, I, I truly believe your experience, you know, I got no question, no doubt about it because I know that these are the issues that a lot of people are facing because of ignorance. That's why the Bible in Hosea 4, 6 said that our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So that's the reason why we need to have this teaching to help, to guide and to, to give people the understanding so that they will be strong. As they begin to pray they understand and they'll be very clear you see the moment when you hear this testimony and hear the sharing tonight you'll be very very careful i'm very sure the next moment when you identify certain things that come in your house without your knowledge you'll be very careful and even even outside all right not just house but even outside when you pass by certain area don't think that it's, it's normal that you say oh it's okay i i i am covered by the blood of jesus i can go in you know there was a sister in christ she was on holiday and she went to this place it's an area of tombs it's of course it's no more but it's a place it's like a, a, res, a sort of tourist vis, uh, place but there are a lot of tombs in this this place and when she was visiting entering into the tomb area she suddenly felt her body very cold very weak sweating and getting sick and she texts, you know, texts to Singapore, the intercessor, and asks us to pray for her. She was there and then. But she did not make it. She passed on. You see, that's serious. So even as you are outside, there was another sister in Christ. She went for a mission trip. 
and she did not know she was like uh, resting, took a rest, and she sat on a place. And this place is for sacrificial ground. In the old days, they used this place for sacrificial of human life or whatever it is. She sat there and spirit entered her. She came back. She was diagnosed with cancer. She passed on very quickly. A lot of this testimony I heard and I felt that we really need to know. You have to be very careful. Whether it's at home, whether you're visiting places and whether somebody, when somebody gives you something, there was a, recently we prayed for this sister crash. She was diagnosed with a fob uh, cancer. She had a, a sort of a surgery. And the husband told me that they inherited these tea pots with tea cups and every pot, every cup is with the dragon. Dragon is Satan. There's no argument. You don't, it's, it's quite difficult to uh, convince me that this is not. When I see Satan, I say this is dragon. It's in the Bible. So we have to avoid any of these things that is having. Sometimes you thought, oh, it's only a plastic bag. It's only a t-shirt. When you hear the testimony or when you hear the experience that we share with you, you will know, you'll know that this is not. I, I've experienced and I've shared with people, pray for people and I realize all these things are abomination and they cannot understand because maybe their level of faith have not reached that but when they begin to be equipped, be trained, they understand, they realize that they have to take authority. Mm. You think why, why God sent Jesus to every one of us? Why Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to every one of us? Because Jesus also knew that we are struggling in this power of darkness. And Jesus sent the Holy Spirit now so that every one of us, we have the discerning of the Holy Spirit. We yeah. have the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yes. We are baptized in the Holy Spirit. Yes. We are baptized in fire. So yes. when we pray, there's power, there's anointing. Why we pray in tongues? Because it's edify our spirit man. They are not praying in tongues just to satisfy somebody next to you. No? They are praying in tongues to edify. The Bible says, edify your spirit man so that you'll be strengthened. In the time when you're weak, you pray in tongues. Amen. Okay. Uh, next, next one. Anyone else? Wow. Ah, Sister Melin, come. Yes. Uh, wanna, what, oh, I speak in Mandarin, can I not? Okay, okay, okay. 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 滑得下来两次 那一次我就发现到，呃，有那些灵压着我的头，压着我的头。那个时候我正在呃dining <笑> 那个读了大概整一个小时，神的话语洁净，然后那个地方到最后的时候平安下来。我感我感恩了，这是我第一次我这样子的跟仇敌在那边宣唱，就是这样子打胜。感谢主。So just to share what this sister has experienced, you know, she the place that she went to and she felt uh, uh one time at home, she felt uh she fell from the stairs. But she knew the angels actually hold on to her so that she does not have any injury. And then once she was visiting a place in a, uh, somewhere in a hometown area, and she felt the power of darkness oppressing and holding on to her. Mm. And she knew that when she began to pray and it reading comes. the word of God, when it she comes. read the word of God, pray in the spirit. In the spirit. Yes. This power of darkness level. Let Actually, that, her yeah. experience is nothing new. A lot of people also know that we can do that. that so, so that's good. why, brother and sister yes. in Christ, when you are facing such situation, you need to pray need to in the spirit, in yes. command in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Use the yes. name of Jesus Christ. Because when I was oppressed with such issue, I called in the name of Jesus. And I was very, uh, you know, uh, 
filled with the holy anger. You know? I command, I say, uh, devil, get out of the room. Devil, get out in the name of Jesus. And I will do that. Because I call in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit have to bow down. This unclean spirit, foul spirit, wherever it comes from, have to bow down to the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, Sister Catherine, you want to share? Sleep up, please. Yeah, Sister Catherine, Julian, uh, anyone else you want to share? Hi, Hi Reverend Joseph. Yes. Catherine here. Yeah. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, me too. Having such a such experience before, but apparently, uh, you see, because huh? my what? my mother in law and my husband is under. No one blanket, right? Mm. The one. Wait, wait. Uh, uh, my my I mean to say, my husband and my uh mother in law is. Uh, my mother not just accepted Christ, uh, you know, early of uh, January. Mm. So my issue here is what happened because uh, my husband is a pre-believer, so surely has something. <laughs> mm. So how am I going to overcome that? Well, uh, sister, you, you know that when you pray, mm. angels can talk to your husband. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? Yeah. So, so there was a, a guy. Yeah. He's a he's a very uh, well known singer in Singapore. Okay. He shared his testimony that he never believed in all these, you know, things about Jesus, healing or whatever it is. But his wife is a very strong Christian, but he never stopped the wife. But one day, when the wife continued to pray that God would touch him, and God spoke to him. Even while he was coming back, God spoke to him and he knew that was God. And his life turned around. So so for Sister in Christ, for such things, uh, normally don't use too much of your own strength. You pray for him, mm -hmm. salvation upon him, the peace of God will touch him. See, God can do miracle. God can send people to him. God can even speak. There was another brother in Christ. He was like, you know, in a way, he's 80s or something like that. Not, not doesn't believe in God. But God showed him a dream and that dream frightened him, caused so much fear. He knew that if he did not submit to God, he would be under the power of darkness and he came to know Jesus Christ. So don't worry. I believe that God can help you. Amen? In the situation. All right, uh, Sister Serena, you want to share something? Sister Serena, I, I see your hand raised up. <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> okay, yeah. Quickly. Yeah. Thing, uh, and in fact, I don't know, it was just uh, two days, two nights ago. Mm. Uh, I had a very bad dream, mm. and uh, in the dream, there is like the, the devils are like hurting me and my family. Oh. I was trying to struggle and uh, couldn't, and then uh, I woke up mm. at about 3 a.m. Then I switched on the YouTube, put on the sofa, mm. uh, blowing, just continue sleep with. You know the sofa, YouTube on, and I slept. Mm. So I share with my friend. I said, "Oh, I I must have a spiritual attack, because mm. the night before that evening itself, I was sharing uh some uh biblical scripture with one of the young girl. Mm. She was uh renovating her house, and then uh, have a lot of issues with the contractor and." So I said that, oh, this is a, supposed to be a wedding home. You know, you don't uh, cost too much back. You know, mm. things happening. It could be the, you know, the renovators, normally they are pagan worship. I see. So I said, you bless your house. Keep mm. playing with some psalms, Christian songs, mm. even like switch on sofa, you know, music and all these things to bless your house. Keep blessing your house. And then when you find the peace in your house, then you'll be... I think everything was soft by itself. Uh. I just share like that. So I think it, maybe it could be <laughs> spiritual attack. Uh, it could be spiritual attack. It could be witchcraft work. All right, it could oh. be. So sometimes we need to also examine any issue mm. with people. Sometimes people are because of jealous, people issue or curses and place all mm. these. Mm. Especially when you are weak in your spirit, man, and you are not uh, at that time focusing and especially when you are going through some kind of a problem in a family and that is where the attack comes, all right? Mm, I, I think, right. so we always encourage brother and sister in Christ, every time when you have the opportunity, raise the umbrella of praises. 
Yeah. It, okay. Raise the umbrella of praises. Mm -hmm. Now, how to raise the umbrella of praises? It can be in your living room. It can be in your bedroom. So all you need to do is basically you identify four powerful verses. Now, if you look at the teaching that I, I talked about, uh, house blessing, house cleansing, you can identify four good Bible verses. Normally, these four Bible verses will comprise of one is for spiritual warfare, one is for blessing, and then one is for healing, and one is for maybe success and things like that. So, so you can put these uh, four Bible verses. And uh, you know, normally when you go to Israel, uh, they sell this uh, capsule, very nice, beautiful capsule where you mount on the wall, on the doorpost. So when you go to uh, the hotel in uh, Israel, you will see that every hotel there is this capsule mount there on the side, all right? And uh, and it's sometimes can be decorative, sometimes it can be very simple. So you can you can get the simple one, all right? Get the simple one and uh, oh, simple one and and you you can also uh, yeah. Okay, you can you can put it there, and then you can put the Bible verses that you have. Mm. If you do not know what Bible verses, go through my teaching on the house cleansing and house blessing. I I've, I identify some of the good Bible verses, and then put the Bible verses inside the capsule, and put on the doorpost or on the corner, and you pray and raise the umbrella of praises now sometimes uh, some people will think oh, why should I do that okay it's, it's not compulsory but sometimes we, we want humans like that we need to have the tangible we want the tangible experience you want to see something you want to feel something and then you don't see you don't believe you don't you don't see the miracle you don't believe you see so so these are something that it's just like anointing oil just like healing cloth you know all these things are tangible things that you can establish rather than you put something that is uh, you don't even know what is it but at least you know that you put Bible verses, which is the word of God, and then you you raise the umbrella of praises. And that is in a way, from the spiritual perspective, you are building a shield around your whole house. So that demonic attack, whether it's witchcraft, incantation, or whether spell, or whether uh, curses, you know, every day we do not know. You may get it from somebody you know, some people you don't even know. Or sometimes you have things that brought in you do not know so sometimes when you have these type of things uh, when you have the presence of God in your house that's why every time when we pray we pray for the presence of God to be in the house because when the presence of God is in your house things that is not of God will have to leave Amen. will have to destroy sometimes you see vast suddenly broke down the, the faith there was a brother in Christ suddenly the, the fencing came down and, and he knew that was the power of darkness and, and because they were praying you know so, so light start to break so all these things can happen. There was sister in Christ when we were praying, and then the house, even the the brick, something came out from the brick, like it looked like some kind of uh, ugly, you know, liquid. So all these things can manifest. But whatever it is, brother and sister in Christ, it's better to take precaution. Don't wait until something happen, then you start to you know do something about it. It's going to be challenging. Mm -hmm. But at this point of time, you have the knowledge of it. Amen. Okay. All right, uh, sister Joy, you have something to share, sister Joy. Just turn on your mic. Mm. Uh, turn on your mic, yes. Can you on the left? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, many years ago, I stayed with my parents. My parents are uh, not Christian. I was Christian already. Mm -hmm. And the house got idols, altar, all that uh, downstairs. So I stayed upstairs in the room and I was so tired I go and have a nap in the afternoon like evening and I always slept until night you know and the room become dark and no light so my family everybody is downstairs and I'm upstairs by myself in the room sleeping and then suddenly I I feel like somebody I can see like a muscling muscling you know the muscling black people like the spare part muscle mm. got muscle one got muscle mm. muscle man got muscle one but it's dark color mm. pressing on me on my shoulder mm -hmm. and then I try to yell help help like I can see myself yelling but there's no sound coming out from me mm. and I was so frightened because it's, it's pressing on me very hard and I, I can't um get rid of it and everybody was up downstairs 
and they can't hear me calling, so I I don't know what to do. Then um then my mother came to the room. She wanted to take some clothes in the cupboard in my room. So she turned on the light. When the light came come, the muslin man, dark person just left me. Mm. So I can talk again. I can I have sound back. I got sound back. I can talk again. So I was so happy. Yeah, praise the Lord. Yeah. So there's a dark power. I, I believe there's a dark power and there's a Jesus power also. Good one. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. The joy for sharing. All right. Okay. So thank you for so much. Uh, I think there are a lot of things that we can learn. That, but at this point of time, we want to pray for uh, some of the prayer requests. Uh, we want to thank God for uh, Sister Ruby that uh, God has healed her. But we we'll continue to pray for her because she's still uh, going through the recovery stage. And uh, yes, uh, Sister Ruby, are you here? Sister Ruby, ah, okay. Father, we pray for Sister Ruby that Lord, you continue to heal her so that all these problems in her back will be restored, the pain will be gone in the, in name, the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. You yes. strengthen her nerves, strengthen her bone and the muscle. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, Sister uh, Florence, Sister Florence, Florence, are you here, Sister Florence? Ah, yes. Ah, ah, yes. All right. So you have uh, prayed for strength uh, in your, you know, the cartilage in your joint. So <laughs> walk. All right. So. Yeah. Pray for Sister uh, uh, Florence that Lord you strengthen, uh, mm. restore her cartilage and the joint and also yes. give her strength so that she can walk uh, easily when going up and down the stairs. Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, mm. Sister uh, mm. Tracy Young, uh, your 84-year-old mom having ankle pain. So we invite uh, Pastor Esther can pray for Sister uh, Tracy Young mother. She's having some pain in the Ankle and the foot. Okay, can. Lord, first and foremost, we thank you, Lord, that uh, Tracy's mommy, Kim Q Lim Moy, has accepted you. And Lord, she is, a, she is your child, Lord, who has already known you. But Lord, we pray that her heart will open and to be more intimate with you. Right now, Lord, we want to pray healing over her right ankle uh the pain or lot and the tingling sensation on the left foot lord we, we 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 declare that all the pain all the tingling sensation will be removed will be gone in the name of jesus you strengthen her legs so lot you give her a strength in her bone i speak to her bones right now be strengthened lord you will send your angels of healing specialized in the bones uh, to put the hands on her and heal her a lot, heal her completely a lot. And I pray that a lot in the times of pain, you know, uh, Kyuli Moy will remember you and she will call you. She will call upon the name of Jesus. And God, you say, uh, her, uh, her prayer will be answered and she will be saved. So, Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sister, okay, sure. sister Yiming, uh, Sister Yiming, uh, praying for a daughter because. Uh, Ask for a restoration of health and also bring her back to school life. Uh. Okay, we're gonna invite our yes. uh, sister Anna. Sister Anna, can you pray for uh sister Yimin daughter for health restoration? Father Lord, we thank you that we can come to this together to bring our request before you. Lord, we know that you always answer our prayer as we Lord with uh before you. So Lord, uh, we ask for this uh, sister Weeking, is it? Weeking. Yes. Yeah, King, Yim Heng, Yim Heng. Yim Heng. Uh, uh, daughters to be uh, in restore, Lord, in all health, in everything that is in her life, oh God, that you will restore it and be healed in Jesus' name. So Lord, right, we commit her before you, oh God, that you love her so that the Lord, that she will be able, oh God, to serve you, oh God. So, Lord, we just want to thank you for your love towards her and continue, O oh God, to restore her in your name, in your precious name of Jesus. So, Lord, right now, Lord, we just uh, commit her before you and we thank you for your love and in Jesus' name. 
Amen. 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 We want to pray for Sister Josephine also. Yes. Uh, Father, we pray that Lord, you will saturate her whole house with the presence of God. Yes. So there's no fear, Lord, any unclean spirit will have to live mm. in the name of Jesus. So even as we stand together in unity yes. and in agreement, we believe that Lord, uh, Josephine's house is the habitation of Jesus Christ. It's the tabernacle of God. And only the spirit of God dwells in the house. So Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We will pray for Sister Elsie. Uh, Pray for the her mom back. Uh, uh, there's a bone spur. Okay, so we pray that for Sister Elsie, oh, the mother, Jesus. and uh, Lord, whatever there's an issue in the bone, the healing power of God will flow to her back. So that whatever there's a spur, all these things will be uh, restored and the bone will be put into proper uh, connection so there'll be no issue on the nerve, no issue on the bone joint. So, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, for Sister June, uh, we ask Pastor to uh, Esther to pray. Sister June, they're having a lot of gas and being trapped in the in the belly, constipation and osteoporosis. Okay. Lord, we pray for June right now. We speak to her intestine system, her digestive system. Right now, we say peace onto the digestive system. It will not flare up. Uh, it will remain uh, 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 stable. Lord, I pray for. Uh, the intestine, whatever food that she takes, so Lord, you will only absorb nutrients. You will only absorb nutrients and you will, and I rebuild every gas, every constipation in her. Lord, I pray that Lord, you give her wisdom. You give June wisdom to know what are the right food to eat and what are the food to avoid, oh Lord. So that Lord, uh, uh, this will not further trigger, this will not further upset her tummy, oh Lord. And I pray for her osteoporosis. Lord, I pray uh, 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 you, you, you heal her of osteoporosis. I say that her bones will be strengthened. Her bones will be strengthened, oh Lord. So Lord, we commit June into your hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We also want to pray for uh, Sister Josephine. She has another request uh, to pray for the diabetic wound. Uh. Mm. So Father, we pray for your healing to flow to her body and not all these uh, issues concerning diabetic. Mm. Lord, you will do a restoration to correct the, the uh, sugar uh, you know, uh, level in the body and so that Lord, she doesn't have to suffer the pain. We ask for supernatural healing, yes. Lord. Strengthen her immune system to, to, to restore back. Lord, even if there's a wound, the wound will be healed supernaturally. There'll be no pain. So Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, Sister Lucy, uh, pray for uh, Richard. He's not a Christian, uh, but we pray that Lord, you will touch him. Yes, Lord, and Lord, Lord this Jesus. wonderful man of God, Lord, we do not know him, but Father Lord, you can touch him and you can change him and let him know about the true understanding and the presence of God and Jesus in his life. In Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And uh, Brother Johan, praying for... Uh, people who are in uh, missionary Indonesia mm. huh? okay revival in uh, Papua oh, okay all right so, father we just come let's touch your hand and pray yes, for uh, brother uh, Johan right because he's uh, doing some missionary mm. work and missionary we oh, have to really pray for them because they are really yes, oh they're the front line people yes, and they are yes, going Lord. there to share the gospel yes, yes, bring yes. the gospel to the 30 yes, photo windows yes, and to all those places that's unreachable yes, area so yes, father we pray for uh, brother Johan and even if his team yes. that Lord even as they are ministering in um, Tunisia yes, father we pray for your angels to go ahead of them to oh, clear yes, every Lord. obstacle yes, Lord, Lord, to prepare the ground like, even as you go forth Lord, the people will be receptive toward the word of God the gospel yes, and we pray that Lord you will, you will strengthen him Lord Lord you give him the uh, strength to be able to uh, wisdom to be able to uh, even minister to people so that when they hear his testimony when they hear his teaching Lord they will be they'll be touched by the testimony and Lord supernatural healing will come on the people and I pray that Lord you will help him Lord even in this place that people may be going through struggle in, in the area of uh, you know darkness in the area of healing Lord you will bring him there because he carries the holiness of God so let the holiness of God bring light light into the area so the darkness will to disperse in the name of Jesus. So Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And uh, Sister uh, Catherine having uh, this kidney toxin. Uh, Sister Anna, can you pray for Catherine? Uh, kidney toxin uh, problem. Uh, neck pain and hands numbness. Pray for Sister Catherine. Father uh. Lord, we thank you a lot for Sister Catherine that she bring her request before you, O God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, uh, may you just uh, heal her, her kidney toxin to be killed, to be uh, cleared. 
and function, neck pain, hand and numbness a lot. May your healing power a lot go through her, pass through her body from head to tail, that all these things will be gone in Jesus' name. Yeah. All foul spirit will be gone in Jesus' name. So he will, she will be restored in your, in your, by your power of God. So mm. in, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. And Sister Lucy, uh, we also pray for your daughter Eunice, Eunice uh, yes. so that she'll be uh, healed and also uh, strengthen her uh, so yes. that the, the, every spirit of depression has been gone and then she can be very strong. I, I believe that she's uh, not strong in the Word of God. So do encourage her to, even if she got no time to read the Bible, it's good that you can forward some of the teaching to her because sometimes through teaching, we realize that people are more receptive. Mm. And then the moment when you hear the Word of God, mm. when they suddenly... The spirit of God touched them. Then they suddenly the suddenly in the spiritual dimension, mm. and it begins to decide. So, uh, in this regard, one thing we could possibly see is that they could turn around. Okay, so uh, all right, so uh, basically we have covered most of prayer, but do join us again uh, every uh, Wednesday night. We have this uh, time re uh, reserved to pray for people, yes. and uh, you you can also join if you have some urgent prayer. You can also join us on our Tuesday meeting. Mm. All right, we have Tuesday meeting mm -hmm. and then we have also the uh, 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 Wednesday, which is tonight. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Friday, which is more Mandarin. So you can join our Friday meeting as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so one week we have about three meetings, yes. weekly meetings. These are the weekly okay, meetings. And also I just received this uh, from uh, Sister Ivy. Sister Ivy. Yeah. Uh, oh, she, a testimony, she was healed from migraine. Praise the Lord. Pastor Esther prayed for her two months ago. Thank God nah, for all this. So uh, thank you, Sister Ivy, for sharing your testimony yes, because your testimony will yes. bring forth encouragement to other people. And so, yes, so thank you for Pastor God. Esther who take time to pray thank for, you, uh, to help in the part of the intercessor team. Yeah, all right. Thank you, so Anna thank you. Also. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, I'm also organizing uh, intercessory group. Nah. So uh, why? Because sometimes in between uh, the meetings, uh, we do have a uh, urgent request for prayer, and sometimes we can activate the in intercessory group mm -hmm. to pray for certain people. All right, so I think that is good because uh, God really wants us to pray consistently, fervently, yes. and then when we begin to pray, angels will be dispatched Amen. to help every Amen. one of us. Yeah. All right, thank you, brother and sister in Christ. Let's stretch our hand to receive the blessings, yes. the protection, you, and the divine healing of God to come upon yes. every one of us. Now, as I pray for you, you can also stand in proxy to pray for your family members, to pray for your friends. Some of your friends may be going through some health issue or some financial issue. It doesn't matter. You can stand in proxy because as I begin to pray, I will tap in the spiritual realm and ask God to download certain things that we need to pray because God knows every one of us. The Holy Spirit is the same Holy Spirit that every one of us we have. All right, same Holy Spirit. He's the same, we, we know and, and, and God will download vision and guide us. So Father, we just want to thank you right now. Thank you for tonight, Lord, that even as we come together to yes. learn from the Word of God, so that, Lord, you'll give us a, a better understanding on how the whole spiritual uh, dimension uh, works as we begin to pray and how angels are sent yes. to bring forth healing, to bring forth breakthrough, yes. deliverance, yes. to fight yes. the battle that we are fighting. You, so, Lord, Jesus. there are so many things, Father, but we know that, Lord, tonight as we come together in this Zoom, mm. you know every one of us. You, you know our family members, our loved ones, yes. our children, and we want to just commit to you right now, Father. Yes. We pray that, Lord, you will help us, Lord. Even some of us, maybe we are first time, we are, we are new into this area. Mm. But, Father, Lord, you open up our spiritual eyes, our mm. spiritual ears, and, Lord, you will activate the gifts of the Holy Spirit then in us so that, Lord, we will begin to discern the things of God. And I pray right now, Father, that every house or every house here, Lord, mm. I pray for the presence of God to be there. Yes. That, Lord, the Holy Spirit will open up their eyes, their ears, their nose, and they begin to sense things that are not right. If there are areas in the house, in the, mm. in the room, mm. that is containing darkness or potential yes. opportunity for darkness to manifest, Father, we pray that, Lord, the you will Jesus, teach yes. them to yes. able to even pray in the name of Jesus yes. to sanctify the whole yes. house right now. Mm. To plead the blood of Jesus Christ and to mm. build the umbrella of praises. Yes, Lord. And Lord, continue to Pray in tongues, continue to speak the word of God, Amen. continue to release words of God from the Bible Hallelujah. so that let this word of God fill up the whole house right now. Mm. So that Lord, every power done us, we have to go in the name of Jesus yes, Christ. Now I see God shows some, not all, some of the house here. You are facing challenges because of 
young children. It could be your children or it could be niece or nephew. But these children, they are innocent. You need to understand they are innocent because they do not know about the word of God as much as you do. Neither do they know about angels, healing, praying, that they do not know they are innocent. Now you have to pray for them. Mm. Now one of the very effective ways to pray for them is to really lay hand on them. Yes. Just lay on them by the faith. Lay on them in your family member, your children. Lay on them and say, pray in the name of Jesus. Bind every power. If that person is showing disobedience, uh, showing anger, showing rebellion. Now, rebellion spirit is also something that we do not want. So, lay in on that and pray in the name of Jesus. Yes. Command in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus yes. for all this rebellion spirit, uh, disobedient spirit, uh, anger spirit, violent spirit to get out of the child in the name yes. of Jesus. But clearly, the boys, uh, the young boy, I saw in the vision that some young boys are very, very, uh, uh, I use the word naughty you know, because they are young. But pray for them because God can help them. And Lord, we also pray for. Yeah. Every one of us, Lord. There's yes. so many of us. We are we are now back into the workforce, yes. and we are yes. busy yes. attending to uh, work. In, but Lord, nevertheless, we do not want to lack in reading the word of God. We do not to lack in praying. So Lord, continue to give us strength, so that Lord, even as we are back to work, we will still, uh, you know, organize good timing to pray, timing to. Uh, to be ministered, timing to pray together, even in church or in group, Lord. So, Father, you give us strength, Lord, because you can extend our timing. You can extend, just like Joshua, you can extend the timing so that we have more time to do things, Lord. And Lord, even as we continue to do things for the kingdom of God, we will not feel tired. There will be no stress. All the stress be gone. Tiredness be gone because we are doing work for the kingdom of God. Lord, we pray that every one of us here, Lord, we will receive the divine healing of God. Now, I, I see the divine healing of God coming to everyone here. And I want you to receive this because I see the divine healing of coming unto your body yes. and trying to do adjustment to your body, especially in your hormones, mm. especially in your immune system. Mm. I see the healing power of God coming here to strengthen your immune system, strengthen, uh, give you good hormones so that your whole body system is able to overcome issues of tiredness, issue yes. of frustration, issue of anger, issue of stress. All these things have to go in the name of Jesus. We do not need to carry the stress. Mm. We do not need to carry all cast the burden, the problem. Jesus. Yeah, cast the care to Jesus. Cast all right, all Jesus. the burden, uh, the yoke of bondage, or let Jesus yes. take all this because yes, we do not want all those Jesus. so as yes. you go back to workplace you know that you are yes. going to face all these challenges but yes. god is obviously he yes. will send his angels to help angels you to, help to make it easy for you to yes. to complete certain yes. tasks to make it easy for you to do certain work yes. to make it easy for your yes. children yes. to be able to do yes. well in the study yes. so that yes. you don't have to feel worried and concerned yes. whether they can cope yes. up to study because yes. when you begin to pray god yes. will bring the angels to help Thank them to Jesus. guide them and even Thank to extend hold their hand so so that they can write correctly, feel correctly uh, for whatever they need to do. Just for, for us, when we are at work, Lord, God will hold our hands as we write our plans, strategies, doing work for, for God. Angels will help us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, Father, we just thank you for tonight. And Lord, let us continue Thank to remember Jesus. all yes. these Bible verses and we're going to use it effectively Jesus. for our ministry. Thank you for training, equipping, empowering every one of us. Lord. So Lord, we ask Lord that you open yes. heavens right now. Yes. Now I want you to receive the blessing right now, just by faith. And I see the blessings of God coming upon you. Some of you, you need the financial prayer. You truly need the financial prayer. It's coming. Just receive it by faith. Receive it by faith. Whatever amount that you require, God knows and you can yes. raise it up to Him right now. The amount that you need for certain reason, buying a house or investment yes. or some issue, finance, uh, financial education requirements or even provision for a house. Now, you just raise it to God right now. Lord, help us. Help us, Lord. You know the financial requirement and Lord, we pray and we call those things that do not exist as though they did. And Lord, as we begin to pray, we call unto the name of Jesus Christ. Our Father in heaven will hear our prayer. Yes, oh Lord, you, thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Lord. You, Receive this financial thank breakthrough, you. brother and sister in Christ. Another half year or more to go. It is not easy, but with God, all things are possible. God can bring up opportunity to see a breakthrough in your work, a breakthrough in your financial, a breakthrough in your investment, a breakthrough in everything that you are doing in your family, including your loved ones, including your children. Thank you, Jesus. And Father, we pray that Lord, you continue to watch over us. Watch over us wherever we go. 
protect us, shield us from all harms and danger. So that Lord will avoid all the danger area. No weapon formed against us shall prevail. Every weapon coming against us from the devil, from the power of darkness, shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So Father, we thank you. Lord, we ask that your presence, God's presence will continue to embrace every one of us. The love of God will surround us and the peace of Jesus will be residing deeply in our hearts. So Father, we thank you. In Jesus' most mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shall we all say the Lord's Prayer? One, two, three. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation. Deliver us from the evil one. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All glory to Jesus Christ yes. and the Lord. Yes. Amen. All right, we'll catch up with you again. See you again. Amen. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Brother Johan. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Reverend. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.